ACOM South Africa plans to use itself as a springboard to put Africa as a whole onto the ACOM global map. Sitting with me is Carlos Ponier, who is discussing the strategy that they have over the next few years with investments and expansions into strategic countries, particularly along the East Africa coast. ACOM is strategically focusing on seven specific countries over the next few years. Could you please tell me a little bit more about the strategy and how is ACOM going about it? So we have been in Africa uh, for, for a number of years, especially in South Africa, where we have uh, a real center of excellence with over a thousand people. So we want to use uh, South Africa as a springboard for the rest of Africa, number one. And, uh, and again, in areas where we don't have the expertise in South Africa, we want to use our global reach either out of the States or out uh, of the UK, Europe, uh, Middle East to be able to address the market that we have. So we have got a three-legged um, strategy for Africa. We looked at, uh, at the number of countries in Africa. You have got 48 countries in Sub-Saharan Africa plus North Africa. So there is, a, there is a huge amount of countries, a huge amount of square mileage to cover. So we need to make sure that we concentrate, that we are focused, and we go to a number of projects and a number of countries that are that are within our strategy. So we looked at GDP, we looked at GDP growth over a certain number of years, we averaged it, we look at transparent, Transparency International reports on integrity, easiness to do business, and then we, we, we came out with seven countries, of which most of them are in, in East Africa. So we will cover East Africa out of Kenya, and that will include Ethiopia, um, Uganda, Tanzania, and Mozambique. Um, we, we will have uh, Ghana in, uh, in West Africa where we have a number of projects. So because of, uh, of what we have already, we decided to, to work out of there. We are thinking what, uh, what are the next steps in Nigeria, which have some kind of presence. And then we have got South Africa and, uh, and Botswana, which really we can, we can cover out of South Africa. So that's one of the leg of the strategy. The second one is that uh, if we look at our global customers, uh, what their investments are going to be in Africa in the future, some of the projects they're going to do in Africa, we will follow them if there is a reason to follow them. So if one of our global customers go into a country that is not within the seven that we have defined, and if there are good prospects, then we walk into those countries with, with our customers and, uh, and we work with our clients uh, in those countries. And then the third leg, leg uh, has got to do with very large projects. If we have got large projects that, that we can differentiate ourselves from our competitors, that we've got a good chance to win that we, we know the country, we know the people, we know the, uh, the way to do, do, to do business, then we might consider going into those large projects. So simply, it is use South Africa as a springboard, focus on a number of countries, focus on our, on our cli clients, and then, uh, and then uh, as a second uh, phase, in, uh, after two years, we will look at, uh, at some of the countries in, in North Africa, which uh, at this point in time, they are being, uh, one or two have been covered from our Dubai office. <music>